Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest. In January 2023, Nuix released a training update. And on this particular day, the share price of Nuix rallied about 14%. And the share price around that time was about $1. Over the next one year, the share price of Nuix increased by over 100%. A lot of positive sentiment behind this company, share price in a beautiful uptrend. And then the company released a trading update on the 12th of January, 2024. And the market didn't like this particular trading update. And I believe there is a possibility that the market is overreacting. Share price down 13%. So in this particular video, I'm going to look at this particular trading update from Nuix and talk about why there is a possibility the market is overreacting. So here is the trading update from Nuix. Uh, this is very similar to the table they released in January 2023. However, the market loved that particular trading update. The market did not like this trading update, even though Nuix is showing some positive signs here. So analyze contract value or ACV up between 15 and 17 percent to almost 200 million dollars. Uh, and then statutory revenue up between 10 and 13% to almost $100 million. Underlying EBITDA up between 8 and 16% to about $30 million. However, statutory EBITDA down between 9 and 19% to just under $20 million. And this is probably the reason why the market punished Nuix because they didn't want to see statutory EBITDA going backwards. However, I do think there is a possibility the market has overreacted because there is a reason why statutory EBITDA is going to be down this particular half year. Very good reasons why it's going to be down this particular half year. And these reasons are just one-offs. They're not structural problems with the company itself. And to find the reasons why I think possibly the market is overreacting, we all we have to do is look at the commentary found within this particular training update, they do talk about statutory EBITDA and why it's down. And the reason why it's down is driven by non-operational legal costs, primarily related to the ASIC federal court hearing. For the half, non-operational legal expenses amounted to approximately $10 million, compared to $2.4 million in the prior corresponding period. They also mentioned non-operational legal costs are expected to be significantly lower in the second half of the current fiscal year. Now, Nuix, they also say that Nuix continues its strategy of funding software development costs from free cash flows. That's very important. That means this company is sustainable if they are able to funding software development costs from free cash flow. The company was underlying cash flow positive in the first half and maintains its financial year 24 strategic objective to be underlying cash flow positive for the full year. And that's very important. Nuix end of the half with cash on hand of $24 million and no debt. Now, possibly there is another possible reason why the market punished Nuix is the market might have been disappointed by the growth. Maybe the market expected a little bit more growth and they completely ignored the statutory EBITDA. That is a possibility. Now, Nuix is not cheap right now. So there is a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say premium uh, price into Nuix. I'm just going to look at the markup of Nuix. According to Comsec, it's almost $600 million. So I'm just going to confirm that because sometimes platforms will have the wrong market cap for some reason or rather. And TradingView has a market cap of $675 million. So there is actually a little bit of difference. But Overall, between 600 and 675, just look at market index now, and they have a market cap of 588 million. So actually three different numbers when it comes to market of this company, but still $600 million valuation for a company that has just achieved free cash flow positiveness. So possibly that is the reason why the share price has decreased 13% uh, or 14%, whatever it was, on the back of this particular trading update. Maybe the market was just disappointed and statutory EBITDA going backwards has nothing to do with it. And that is all I have for this look at uh, Nuix trading update, uh, statutory EBITDA going backwards. Maybe the market is overreacting, but there's also the possibility that the market was disappointed with the growth in the other metrics. Maybe they expected more growth in revenue or more growth in ACVR or more growth in underlying EBITDA. I don't know, but 
doesn't matter. The market did punish uh, New X share price down 13%. But if you do believe that the market has overreacted, maybe now is a good time to either add to your position in New X or buy some New X shares in the next few days. So the last thing I should mention is that I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.